welcome to a key smash studios tutorial in this video i'm going to be showing you how to use unreal's trigger box class to create a simple event the event we're going to have by the end is a sphere above our trigger box and whenever we run through that trigger box the sphere will have its physics activated and will fall from the sky as you're watching if you find this video helpful please remember to like and subscribe so to go ahead and begin we're going to create our c class so you just right click in the content browser, go up to new C++ class. We're gonna click show all classes and type in trigger box. You're gonna click on that, click next, and I'm gonna name mine event trigger and just create this class. Once the class is created, we're gonna go over to our header and we're gonna start by adding some includes. So the first include is going to be for our actor class. So we're going to do include game framework slash actor dot h. And this is going to allow us to access the actor class. So that way we can determine when our character has passed through this trigger box, as well as having a reference to our sphere, which will be an actor. The last include that we need to add is going to be for our static mesh. So it's going to be components slash static mesh component dot h. And the reason we need this one is so that way we can change the simulate physics boolean on the mesh of our sphere. This will allow us to give the sphere gravity and make it fall to the ground. Now that we've done that, we can come down here and go ahead and start adding our functions. So the first thing we want to do is add our virtual void begin play. So this is going to be protected and then it's just virtual void begin play. Normally that's defaulted into the scripts, but the trigger box script doesn't really default stuff for you. You pretty much have to add everything in. And now we can go ahead and do our constructor. So this is going to be public and it's just going to be a event trigger. And then we need a function that we're gonna call whenever we overlap our trigger box. So we're gonna do u function. And this needs to be a u function in order for our on actor begin overlap to take it in as an argument later on. So again, u function, and then we're, I'm just gonna call this void event. You can call it whatever you would like, but you need these two arguments in order for that, again, on actor begin overlap function to take this function in as an argument to be called whenever our player overlaps with this trigger box. So it's going to be class A actor, we're gonna make it a pointer, and this is going to be the overlapped actor. And then the other parameter is going to be class A actor, again a pointer, and this one is just gonna be called other actor. And then finally, we need that reference to our actor that's going to be the ball. So we're gonna do U property. and we want it to be edit anywhere. So that way in our details panel, we can specify which actor within the scene we're wanting to reference. And this is going to be an A actor and it's a pointer and I'm just gonna call it ball. And that's everything for our header. So now we can go ahead and go over to our CPP. And again, normally when you create a class, there's some stuff that's defaulted here, but the trigger box class in Unreal doesn't do that. So we're gonna need to add all those functions. And we'll just go ahead and start with our constructor. So a event trigger, a event trigger. And inside here is where we're going to specify the function that we're calling when our player overlaps with this trigger box. And the way we do that is by using the on actor begin overlap. And then we're going to add a dynamic. And this dynamic is going to be the function that we're wanting to call on overlap. And so the object that we're overlapping with is this object. And then the function name was the a event trigger function of event. And that's all we're doing for our constructor. So now we'll go ahead and just add in the begin play. So void a event trigger. 
begin play. And all we'll be doing in here is calling the super of begin play. And now finally we can write our function. So this is void a event trigger event. And then our two parameters were class a actor overlapped actor and class a actor other actor. And then inside this, the first thing we want to do is make sure that those other actors aren't in fact this actor. So we're going to do if there is another actor, something is overlapping with this and that actor is not this actor. Then we're good to go ahead and have our ball fall. So what we want to do just to make sure we don't run into any null errors is make sure there is a ball that was assigned. In other words, we didn't forget to add that ball to the reference inside of the details panel. And if we didn't forget, then we can go ahead and take that ball and we want to find its mesh components. So we're going to do find component by class, use static mesh, component, And then we want to use its function set simulate physics. And we're going to set it to true. And so again, what this function is doing is being called whenever an actor overlaps with this trigger box. Once that has happened, it makes sure that the overlap isn't this trigger box actor. And then it makes sure that we assigned a reference to that ball variable. And then if we did, it gets its static mesh and sets the physics true so that way gravity will be applied to that actor. But this is all the code we're gonna do so we can go ahead and go back to Unreal and compile. And now that it's compiled, we're gonna go ahead and drag in our box trigger class. And I'll just set it right here. And we'll make it a little bit bigger. And then we're gonna drag in an empty actor. We're gonna add a static mesh component. We're gonna make this a sphere. Simulate physics should be false by default, but just make sure that it is, otherwise the object will fall on play instead of whenever you overlap with the trigger box. And now I'm just gonna move this to be above our trigger box. And then finally, we're gonna go back to our trigger box in the details panel and give it this actor to the ball reference. And then we can go ahead and test and play. And so you see the ball's floating and then I run into the trigger box and it drops down and I can kick it around like a soccer ball or whatever. So as a recap, we used Unreal's trigger box class to determine when an actor interacts with a certain area. So that way we can have an event happen as a result of that interaction. In this case, it was a ball that falls from the sky. As always, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comments or you can join our Discord and ask them there. We make videos here every Wednesday and Saturday, but we also stream games on Twitch Tuesday and Wednesday, and we have our own app called Blast Off on the Google Play Store. We've also created an asset pack of kids' toys, which is on the Unity Store, and we have a Patreon. If any of those things interest you or you'd like to support us in any of those ways, all of those links will be in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.